everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. As you guys can see from the title, today's video is going to be all about my upcoming surgery. I'm going to be talking all about what has led up to this surgery, all the tests I've had done, why I'm having the surgery, and my preparation for the surgery. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So back in April, I kind of took a hiatus from YouTube and when I came back, I kind of mentioned how I was having a ton of issues with my gallbladder. So over the past few months, the issues with my gallbladder have just gotten worse to the point where I pass out from pain. And I also graduated at the end of August with my degree in medical assisting and then took my credentialing exam. And I am like a fully credentialed certified medical assistant through the AAMA. And I haven't been able to put that to use because of the way I've been feeling and because I was 99% sure I'd have to have surgery, which here I am gonna have the surgery. So I haven't been able to apply for jobs and use my degree and it's kind of like really irritating. I also have had to like step back and sit out of a lot of things. I haven't really been able to go out with friends much. I've had to skip out on a ton of different family activities all because of my gallbladder and basically I get this horrific pain after I eat and normally that is a sign of gallstones and you get the pain after eating a fatty meal but with me it's pretty much any time I eat. With this, I have lost close to 30 pounds and I want to go back to the beginning when it all started. It was the end of April and it was one of the last few clinical classes I had at school and I was sitting there. We were about two thirds of the way through class and lab and then all of a sudden I felt like I was going to pass out. I got really hot and sweaty and I was really dizzy and lightheaded and I literally had to ask my teacher if I could go lay in her office because I did not feel well and I thought for sure I was going to pass out or throw up. So I ended up leaving and we went to the emergency room. At the emergency room, they gave me a bunch of fluids and they also did a CT scan to check and see if I had gallstones. I was really lucky because with my appendix, I had to drink this disgusting liquid for the contrast, but this time they actually were able to give it to me through an IV. Didn't have to drink anything. It was very nice. They also gave me some Zofran for the nausea and some nice pain meds through my IV to help with the pain. And my CT scan came back clean. The doctor on my case was like a resident in their like first or second year. And he came in and he's basically like, you're absolutely fine. I don't know what to tell you. The other doctor that came in was a female doctor. And she literally told me, your pain is valid. I have no doubts that it is in fact your gallbladder. It's just not gallstones. So I was sent home. And then probably in like July, it started getting a lot worse. And I mean a lot worse worse. And so I went back to my doctor and was like, pain's not getting better. It's actually getting worse. And so then he said, well, I can send you to a surgeon or I can send you to nuclear medicine. And he also mentioned that if he was going to send me to the surgeon, they would probably send me to nuclear medicine and that it made more sense to just send me to nuclear medicine first. So that's what we did. So back in September, I went to nuclear medicine, which if you guys didn't know, they do imaging using nuclear medicine. And I had what is called a HIDA scan, a HIDA scan is typically a three hour test where you have to lay on a table and you are injected with dye that forces your gallbladder to fill and empty. And throughout this three hours, you literally have to lay there as still as you can. So my results from that came back. And basically my results are that I have something called biliary hyperkinesia, which is a fancy way of saying I have an overactive gallbladder. This is going to get real medical termy. That is not a word. It's going to be for today. But you have this thing called an ejection fraction rate and it's abbreviated EFR, but in a normal functioning gallbladder, the EFR is between 35% and 65%. I have an EFR of 89%, which is super high. So those results came back and I was sent to the surgeon and they're like, yep, we're going to take your gallbladder out. Since I am having this surgery, I am doing some surgery prep. I am going to the grocery store and I'm also going to Walmart because there are a variety variety of over-the-counter medications I need to get and there are a variety of different foods I need to get. So let's begin. So I'm going to start by getting my over-the-counter medications and let me tell you this part may get TMI but you know this is how it goes. So first I'm going to be getting some medications to help with constipation because if you guys didn't know pain medications tend to make you constipated like wicked bad. So I'm going to go ahead and get a stool softener, some Miralax which is a laxative that you mix into like water or Gatorade in case we need to like up it a little bit if the stool 
nasal softeners not working. And then I'm going to get some magnesium citrate for if I get really desperate and really need it. You just mix this into water as well. I'm hoping not to have to use it. We will see. You may or may not have heard horror stories of people drinking the entire bottle and then never being able to leave the toilet again. But if you read the directions, you're only supposed to use a little in a glass of water. I'm gonna follow the directions, but I'm only going to use it if I'm really desperate. I'm also going to go ahead and get some gas relief to help with the gas. With laparoscopic surgeries, they do pump you full of gas to like blow you up so that they can like move their tools around you and stuff. And let me tell you, the gas takes forever to come out and it can be super painful. And sometimes it will actually even like travel throughout your body. I've had it travel up to my shoulder and let me tell you, it is super painful. So I'm hoping that gas relief will definitely help with that. I'm also gonna go ahead and grab some cough drops because when you have surgery, they intubate you so you can still breathe and that can cause a really sore throat after. We already have the throat spray at home in case I need it. And then I already have Tylenol and ibuprofen at home. So that is all I need for medications. Moving on to foods, I'm going to get the basics that I got when I had my appendix out. So first I got mini flavor ice pops. I thought they were the regular size ones until I got home and opened them. They are really tiny. I'm actually not that mad about it because since they are small, I will be able to hopefully eat the whole thing because with the other ones, if I can't eat it all, then it's gonna just be wasted. So these small ones are great and the box came with 100. These are gonna help with a sore throat as well. I got some strawberry lemonade Powerade to help keep my electrolytes up and to help me stay hydrated. I got some applesauce pouches because they are a great soft food to start out with and they aren't heavy or rich in anything. I got some plain saltine goldfish. They are literally the same as saltine crackers, but they are in the shape of goldfish and from goldfish. And then I got a few other odds and ends. I also want to mention that this will be my fifth surgery. And I'm hoping that we can record me waking up from anesthesia because I am hilarious when I wake up from anesthesia. I have videos of me waking up from my first knee surgery, my second knee surgery, my tonsils. I don't have one from my appendix because I was in recovery too long and by the time I got to see my parents, I was just grumpy and wanted to leave. So I'm hoping I can get footage of me waking up from my gallbladder. If I do, it'll obviously be in my surgery vlog. So that is all about my upcoming surgery. I definitely wanted to do this because with my appendix surgery, I didn't get to because it was an emergency surgery. So the only thing I really got to film was my recovery for it. And yes, I do plan on doing an entire other video of my actual surgery day and my recovery process. If you guys have seen my appendix recovery, it was pretty brutal. That will be linked down below for you guys. I'm not sure if this video will be going up before or after my surgery. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram because I will definitely be posting a ton on my stories. My Instagram is just at Allie's underscore underscore life and it is always linked in the description box and I would love it if you guys would follow me. Also, if you guys have any questions, let me know what they are in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. While you guys are down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload new content regularly and like I said, we'll be having a vlog of my upcoming surgery and my recovery. Be sure to hit the bell so you guys are notified when I upload new videos. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys! Thank you.